So before we get started, I want to note, that it was near impossible to find a tutorial on this subject, but hey, if something doesn't exist, then just create it, and that's exactly what I did. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you, how to get texture animation in Blender, please note that at least a basic understanding of Blender is required. Starting, with the default startup screen, switch to top perspective, then to orthopedic view. Align the camera and lamp, in front of the cube along the negative Y axis. Switch to Front Orthopedic, select the cube and tap into Edit Mode. Choose Face Select then select the front face of the cube, invert your selection and delete all faces except the front face. Set up your screen layout as seen here. Scroll in as much as possible, then duplicate the face as needed for your animation, it is also good practice to group them in pairs. As you can see here I've grouped in pairs of three. Select each face, and UV map as needed. A sprite sheet would be best for this tutorial as all the UV data will be associated with a single object, named cube. Reselecting each face, will show where, it is UV mapped, with this setup. Now for the part of this tutorial that truly makes it a UV animation. When making an action in Blender, here is where it's done, with the Shape Keys option. 
Tab into Object Mode, then add Shape Keys equal to the amount of faces you have UV mapped. As you can see, I have 10 here. For each face, tab into Edit Mode, and rotate the faces along the Z-axis by 180, corresponding to its Shape Key. This technique is quite similar to the flipbook animation, you most likely got in trouble for making, in middle school. When finished, tab into Object Mode and rotate the cube object, by 180 along the Z-axis, to have the UV data face away from the camera. Similarly you can also flip the normals of all the faces while in Edit Mode on the Basis Shape Key. Changing any selected Shape Key value will rotate that corresponding face, in the cube object. Now for the video editing portion, for those of you already familiar with video editing in Blender, this part should be a no-brainer. But for the beginners just set up the screen layout as seen here. Each shape key will occupy 3 frames, so our total amount of frames will equal to our shape keys by 3, which will be 30 for this tutorial. Insert a keyframe for each shape key. Change the key value, then increase the current frame by 1 for all the shape keys. Be sure that all the keys are inserted per frame, which will be identified by it being yellow and not green.
select all the keyframes, then scale them by 3. As you will see, the timeline is now fully occupied. If you try and playing the animation now you can actually see the faces flipping in the cube object. To fix this, and get fluid animation, just select all the F curves, and scale them along the Y axis. You will notice, the larger the scale, the better the animation. If still unsure about this subject and further information is required, consult the Blender documentation on F curves. Playing back the animation now, wow, look at that, there you have it, perfect, Blender UV animation. This type of animation can be used in the game engine and even be used to create three-dimensional 2D characters, and if necessary, even copied as many times as needed.